What is up guys, Jav here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at the Dreaming City and specifically how to farm out all these awesome weapons. A lot of these were reissued this season and have some very unique roles. So if you want to find out the best ways to get your hands on them, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating and a comment down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new here or you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the launch of Season of the Chosen, the Dreaming City's loot pool was reissued. This included weapons and armor. Now as for the weapons themselves, these included the Sleepless Rocket Launcher, the Vouchsafe Scout Rifle, the Waking Vigil Hand Cannon, and the much sought after Retold Tail Shotgun. Now with the recent news that sunsetting is being sunset itself, it means we have many more weapon options available when it comes to our loadout. One thing is for certain though that adjustments will be made to our beloved Felwinters, and what we don't know yet is what these changes will be. Will there be changes to weapon stats? Are they likely to change some of the perks on this weapon? And with the changes to Astral Horizon this season and the removal of Quick Draw, could this be something we see on Fell Winters 2? If that is the case, then the Retail Tail could be one of the only shotguns that can roll with Quick Draw and Snapshot. So if you want to absolutely safeguard, your PvP shotgun, then chasing down a retail tail may be the best option. And whilst reissuing isn't exciting for most, a lot of these weapons have new perks, some of them exclusive to the dungeon itself. So with that all out of the way, let's take a look at all the current available sources to get our hands on some Dreaming City loot. Now the first person you want to make a visit to every week is Petra Vinge over in the Dreaming City. Her location does change week on week, but her quests and bounties are good sources to get your hands on some legendary Dreaming City loot. And she will have a bounty for one of the three missions on the Dreaming City. This rotates once again week on week, but the rewards are either dark fragments as well as a legendary piece of gear. And this can include weapons and armor. Alongside this, you will always have the War for the Dreaming City. This is a weekly bounty and you can complete this over two days. And by completing eight daily bounties, you'll once again get some dark fragments as well as some additional legendary loot. Now, as well as those quests, she has these additional weekly bounties here Two. Each week she'll have one for the Ascendant Challenge. Now to gain access to the Ascendant Challenge, you'll need to use a Tincture of Queen's Foil. If you don't have these, she does sell them in her inventory for Barium Bower materials. Now the locations for these do change week on week, but each of them, if you can complete them, do offer you legendary gear as well. Now this gear will drop from the loot at the end of the Ascendant Challenge, and this is in addition to the weekly bounty itself, providing two sources by completing one ascendant challenge now if you do have the wish ender bow each of these ascendant challenges do have some ascendant eggs hidden inside so if you haven't claimed all of these these are great additional sources for some legendary gear now each and every week you'll also have the gateway between worlds this is for the blind well now for every tier 3 activity completion this will grant 50 percent towards this weekly bounty now whilst the bounty itself doesn't grant legendary gear your first blind well completion of the week will grant you a piece of legendary dreaming city loot and upon completing your second tier 3 you'll gain access to the offering to the oracle now you need to go over to the oracle engine to hand this in now, if you're not too sure exactly where that is i'll leave the route playing out right now which will take you straight there now when handing in your offering to the oracle you can also receive purification ritual bounties these are additional quests that you can complete during an ascendant challenge and completing these bounties will offer you an additional piece of loot and finally in regards to petra vin she also has a daily bounty now the requirements for this bounty does rotate day on day but by simply completing this you can get easy access to some dreaming city gear now by completing these bounties of running the blind well and also receiving and completing the purification ritual bounty this can grant you up to 10 opportunities to get your hands on some loot you can run this on all three characters too taking your total chances so far to 30 per week now completing these bounties can be quite a time consuming process especially on three characters but by far the best and most efficient way to get your hands on this loot is via the shattered throne not only is this a great source for loot it also has access to some exclusive perks now the shattered throne was destiny's first dungeon and is very accessible especially at today's power levels so you can very much either run this solo but it's much more efficient if you can get two buddies together now the shattered throne itself has three encounters you have the opening maze section which will grant you loot upon completion then you have your first boss the ogre 
and by defeating them they'll grant you some additional loot too. And then the final encounter inside this dungeon is Dol Inkaru and once again by defeating her you'll grant yourself some additional Dreaming City gear. Now an important thing to note is that these aren't the only sources of Dreaming City loot inside the Shattered Throne. If you complete the Shattered Throne on three characters per week that gives you nine additional sources based on the encounters alone. So in total including the Petrovinge bounties and quests this gives you 39 opportunities per week. But one thing that is forgotten and often overlooked inside the Shattered Throne are the five hidden chests. Not all five of these will grant you legendary loot, however at least two of these per week will grant you additional sources of gear. So once again by completing the Shattered Throne and opening these chests on all three characters, you in fact have a total of 45 opportunities per week to get your hands on these weapons and armor. And as we said earlier in the video, if you haven't defeated all the Wish Ender eggs, then these again provide only further chances for you to get these legendary drops. Now to help you guys out, I'm going to leave the footage to all five chests and their locations rather from here on out so if you're not too sure exactly where they are be sure to use the timestamps in the video description below to jump around and really help you out now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new here or you want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm gonna jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon